May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is a crown of righteousness waiting for the faithful ones. I'm sure the Queen and all of us are expecting to receive at the end of our day. In the past few days, the whole of the United Kingdom has been mourning the passing of our adorable Lady, Her Majesty the Queen, the long-serving monarch, known all over the world to be the beach, bridge builders and also the beacon of hope and peace. London Bridge has fallen, which marks an end of an era, a new chapter of change and renewal. The passing on of the national button, baton from one monarch to another, to show that the race of serving humanity still continues on from this generation and the generations to come. From Edinburgh, Scotland, to Belfast, Ireland, even to Cardiff in Wales, now in London, the message of change has captured the hearts of ordinary people from all walks of life. And in their thousands, they killed and braved the cold, the long hours of standing, even to travel, even to work, to walk for hours just to have a glimpse of what it means to be in the presence of our late, of our late Queen. A change which I believe that God has initiated so he can capture everyone's attention in such a critical time in our world history. London has been chosen by God with coincidence with the passing of one of its faithful servants, the late Her Majesty the Queen. People from all corners of the world were drawn to London to restore relationship with the love of Her Majesty. You've seen miracles start happening Relationship being restored between families of the royal, between nations, between ordinary people, and even nobles as well. Above all, a significant moment of reflection and soul searching for all worldliness while celebrating the life and legacy of our Queen to see how they were going to play the game in serving humanity in such a challenging time as this. She was indeed a servant sent by God to be a messenger of peace to the world, an iconic individual that obviously in her own simple ways mourned the hearts of millions from across the planet to see how a good person can make a difference in the world that we all share. This weekend, my dear friend, more than 500 invited guests, mostly world leaders, are expected to arrive in London, even today, to attend the state funeral tomorrow. It would be a poignant time in history which was not scheduled in their diary, but divinely ordained by God, because God has started doing something, sifting change in the spiritual realm. If I may use the metaphor of a runner in a race, Her Majesty Baton would be a torch of flame that has been used, she has been using for the past 70 years in her reign to inspire people of all walks of life, as I said before, to build bridges, to restore and correct the mistakes of the past, to encourage transformation of faith, peace and reconciliation, 
democracy and love for all, which are remedies to many, many national and global problems and crises that we are struggling to address today. That soft power, yet divinely clothed with virtues of love, peace, and freedom for all, are the things that God has expected in every heart of men. These virtues are the languages of the human soul, which connects everybody beyond race and color, beyond our diversity, just to show us that we are the son of the human race. As I reflected on the past few days, in the passing of Our Majesty, three things came up so clearly to me that I want to share with you. One is the Christian faith lays at the bedrock of the monarchy. A moment where we could see how the sacred and the secular are profoundly displayed in the heart of a queen. We tend to separate the sacred from the secular, but in Her Majesty, we see the two are nicely and cleverly knitted together in her life and in her service as well. The influence of her Christian faith in everyday living experience, even to the very simplest things like enjoying the company of her dogs, horses, even plants and flowers, and also not forgetting her support for the charity organization. The second is tradition. The importance of maintaining ethical living standards have greater effects while serving people, especially the people with authority, weave the social norms and protocols and best practice. And also the role of being a mother, a grandmother, the feminine power presented in the way of service in a higher order. It demands respect to open closed doors of opportunities and bridge making, connecting societies and people to her as we can witness in the last couple of days until today. From the two biblical readings, they are very well known readings, but I want to draw two scenes, two images, which I can see that they are connected with the life and service of Jesus Christ. The first one is this. The tone of the curtain in the temple of Jerusalem during the time of Jesus' death. It happened for a reason to expose the secret of the Holy of Holies to ordinary people, men and women, old and children of the younger ones, so they can access to see God in their own way, in their own time, and in their own pace. People could bypass the rules of the temple to speak directly to God, to the God of hosts. In the similar manner has been displayed in the last few days when people queued up for hours to pay their respect to the body of Her Majesty the Queen. It wasn't a private room in the Buckingham Palace, but instead a curtain was torn a decision was made so that our casket can be viewed by ordinary people, citizens of this country and beyond. So they can meet in the Westminster Hall in London, fully exposed by everyone. I've seen little children, even the young ones, even the grannies, together in their own time and place just to have access to see the glory of Her Majesty the Queen, the very thing that used to be secluded in the confinement of the Paris life in the mountain. I would recall what Beckham and millions of people, including my nephew who braved the cold 
till yesterday morning when he texted me, sent a message, and said it was surreal, moving, different feelings altogether, like someone who has been blessed by God. The second image is the image of the crown. At the top of the castle is the dignified crown splendid with many precious stones, such as diamonds. The crown of servants will stay on for those who will continue the rest. It was her crown as the queen. The chief servant, chief servant of God in the world, which means that every single one of us, we also have a crown. You and I, we have a crown of servants. And that crown comes with a legacy. And you need to, to consider that as a God-given gift to you. But there is another crown that God allows in all to see in the spiritual realm, the crown of righteousness, the crown of the faithful ones, those who will continue serving till the end and never give up because at the end of our journey, the righteous judge will be there to reward us with our good works. Our majesty, Serve till the end. I want to recall what Paul said. She fought a good fight. She ran the longest reigns of 70 years. She kept the faith in order to receive her crown. A crown of righteousness from your Savior. My dear friends, I want to encourage all of us with this prophetic message. Everything that used to be hidden are now revealed and accessible so you can achieve anything and even can tap in some uncharted waters as well because the King of Kings have opened the gate for you to look through and to achieve whatever you want to achieve in life. God has changed the rules so we can see things that used to be hidden from the ordinary the analogy of the Jew from Buckingham Palace is now visible in Westminster Hall. It is a symbol of heaven. Slowly turn the curtain, torn the curtain, so that the hidden mystery of God can be seen, known by all people, nobles and commoners, old and young. We can find access to heaven, to know God, and to see the unseen through the power of faith in Christ. Christ's life of service, death and resurrection has been reflected again in the humble, influential service of our passing queen. We can talk or even see a glimpse of heaven through her, through her service. Like Christ did on the cross, we can see that in the life of of our majesty as well. May God bless the soul of our late Queen Elizabeth II and divine wisdom and power and protection to our new King, Charles III.